What up, what up? I guess the, the two artists I decided to do was uh, Lil Wayne and Beyonce. And uh, I start out with Lil Wayne because, you know, I've been listening to Lil Wayne ever since he did uh, the Get It How You Live album with the Hot Boys, which was probably, I think, their first group album they did. And uh, throughout the years, I feel like, you know, Wayne changed up his style later in, in his career, even though I felt like he was a... A better artist when he first started out and up to probably like the Carter two, he was more so on the, the lyrical side and you know keeping mostly showing his lyrical talent and you know more on the lyrical side but see like kind of like after the Carter two and I want to say probably dedication the dedication was it maybe two no the dedication three mixtape he kind of just, just I guess, quit with the lyrics. And it was funny to me because like, I thought his lyrics kind of dumbed down some. But that's when people were saying when he was at his best, which was crazy to me because like back in the day, you know, when Wayne first came out up to the Carter 1, the Carter 2, and the and the first dedication, with his, which is the greatest mixtape ever made to me, in my opinion, uh, he was really really like lyrically couldn't be messed with at that time to me but it seemed like since he kind of dumbed down his lyrics for the Carter 3 and so on he's going platinum in a week and 900,000 albums in a week which is hard these days because of the time and how easy it is just to download music you know so and uh with Beyonce to me when she first well of course she was with Destiny's Child first and they had success but as far as her solo career, her very first album was hot. It was dope. It, was, I'm pretty sure with with platinum when it first went out, cause it was, it came out around that time when people were still buying albums and stuff like that. But to me personally, her her, her albums after that, the few after that, they wasn't. Well, the one after that, B Day was okay, but then like the next ones after that was not all that to me. But the one that she just did recently, it was more it was more on the darker side and the promotion behind it, it just just came it just came right out without no promotion or anything, which I kinda I think it kinda helped it sell even more. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't recommend every artist do that because you ain't Beyonce, but you know, this album was kinda more so on the the darker side and more sexual and she was kinda more sexual in in this in this album which which I think, I ain't gonna, well, Beyonce ain't gonna never go away. Don't get that wrong. I ain't gonna never say that. She ain't gonna never fall off ever. But with, I think this album kind of kind of brought her back out there. Because I remember a lot of people were saying that, you know, Rihanna, the new the new queen of it all, and stuff like that. But I kind of think Beyonce um, done took the throne back, even though I never thought it was leaving her. But, you know, I do like Rihanna. Rihanna go hard. But Beyonce, when she took this darker side of this album and more sexual, it kind of, people uh, paid attention to it more and really didn't expect that from Beyonce because most of her albums are kind of, you know, she has a sexual moments in it, but they're more more poppy and, and you know, the stuff she's singing about in this album, she really don't sing about too much. So, yeah, like, with this album, she did that and, and, and got success from it because I think it was kind of a... A shock? Well, not really a shock. Well, yeah, it was a shock because I know when I saw the the videos to go along with the songs, how she did the album, I was like, wow, you know, this. I kind of uh, like this Beyonce, <laughs> but um, yeah, those are two artists I think, and like especially Lil Wayne. I feel like you know, when people saying that you know he oh Lil Wayne go hard, da, 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 I mean like we want to hear some good Lil Wayne. Go back to when he did. The, the hot boys get it how you live and the block is hot and you know the next two albums after that was okay but the carter one and the carter twos those albums are, are beyond classics and you know it's just funny how he dumbed down the lyrics and got more popularity so i guess that's where the game is so yeah thanks for your time thanks for watching peace